Maybe I should have Lisa G in here. Lisa, why don't you come and do a quick uh, what's going on in the Howard 100 News? Then I'll get to some phone calls and I got to fill you in on about a million things that have happened. Lisa there she is, Lisa G. All right, Lisa, what do you have for us? Oh, Lisa yeah. looks like Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. <laughs> oh, got look braids. at you with your braid. My so side braid's the new thing for the summer. Good is for that you. right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I always have summer hair. I love you have a new thing. You know, How, what does your hair do in the summer? I gave up a long time ago. <laughs> I don't think about new You've things. You've seen for him the summer. with his ringlets. What's my hair doing? What's well, look at my face? Ugh. You know, uh. I I took pictures of my daughter's. Uh, you know, before she went to the prom. Uh huh. Because you know I'm a photographer. Yes, uh, she should be very proud that she had a professional photographer. Well, she was actually taking she actually, her pictures. She was telling me, Dad, last night. She said to me, Dad, I love these pictures. She oh. goes, You're really good. And so, you know, I felt all good and everything, but uh, Beth took a picture of me with my camera. Uh-huh. And, I mean, I included it because I, at least I should be in one picture. That's why I like being the photographer. Your daughter not... should be able to remember you. Yeah. Yes. And, oh, my God. I said to Beth, I, what the hell happened to me? I said, you know, okay. What I, were you doing in this picture? I'm standing there. You know I never smile in pictures because those are worse. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my face. And, and he, you know, I'm... I said to Beth, what am I going to do? She goes, well, you could airbrush out all the wrinkles. I said, mm. wrinkles? Oh, yeah, look at me. I'm a mess. I'm, I'm like an old man all of a sudden. Oh, my. Oh, you got not. wrinkles? It's fucking horse shit. <laughs> I'm so angry at Father Time. Well, that's not going to help your wrinkles. <laughs> Get Botox. My, psychiatr- no. my psychiatrist will be so happy with me today. I'm going to go in and go, I hate my father. And go, you see progress. And I go, no, Father Time. Not my dad. You look amazing. You're uh, crazy. Excuse me, Robin. I have to have a co- private <laughs> conversation with Lisa. I'll step away. Pretend <laughs> I'm not here. Oh, Lisa. You look beautiful, too. You look amazing. Do you Thank ever you. compare yourself to men your age? Come on. Yeah. I look at Fred and I go, I'm not doing so bad. You know? <laughs> He's got gray hair. Uh, he's a silver fox. I am. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what is the most... Lisa makes me feel good, Robin, so I'm going to talk to her. Okay. What's the most amazing part of me? Oh! <laughs> It's the whole package. The whole package. All right, thank you. There's not one thing wrong with him. You have hair. There's nothing wrong with me, right? (laughs) Nothing. Hmm. By the way, you get to keep your job (laughs) for a whole nother year. (laughs) All right, Lisa, what do you have for us? All right, well, like you said, Howard, Gary the Retard's dad passed away last week. He did lose his uh, battle to cancer. But Gary told us that he and his dad would talk Mm. regularly, and his dad visited him often before he got sick. You think that's true? No. (laughs) (laughs) Listen... If I had a son who was retarded, I would love him, but I don't know how much I could talk to him. <laughs> I mean, Gary might think they talk regularly. I don't know if that's true. I could last a minute. Wait, what was the story between Gary the retarded and his dad? He didn't live with his dad, right? No. Yeah, he has a guardian of some sort right. who checks in on him. Mm-hmm. But where where did the dad live? Did he live down the block or was he like... Or a, another country. Another, um, I get the feeling like that dad was Not far too away. far away. Not too no? far away from what I understand. And Gary claims he saw his father regularly and stuff? Oh, okay. All right. right. And we did speak to his caretaker who said that he's not sure of Gary's emphysema, but Gary has stopped smoking, but he still has the cough. Yeah, well, of course. Well, that doesn't go away just because you stop smoking once you get it. And was Gary capable of being sad or is he Yes, he was. He was. Mm, That's good. I guess. I just had the worst thought when you said that. What do you mean? Uh, it was like you were asking, did Gary have the capacity to be yeah. upset? I'm like, yeah. even dogs can get upset yeah, but when I they don't lose know. their master. I don't know about it. Though. I've never really hung out with retarded people until Gary and Wendy. <laughs> and I really have never learned, like, like is, is the blessing of being retarded that when someone passes away, you don't hurt for that long? because Remember you... when we d- noticed that Beetlejuice gets depressed? Hey, but like five minutes later, he's smoking pot and like, <laughs> he's, he's naked and he's running around with a big boner. <laughs> So I'm wondering, is, it, is that the advantage to being, uh, you know, let's no, say... No, I'm sure Gary can can recognize that he won't see his father anymore. I think he knows what death is. Good for you, Robin. Knowing what Gary thinks. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I don't know. We I, could talk to him. I'm sure he'd love to hear from us. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that could just go horribly wrong. <laughs> let's see. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, well, in other news, J.D. Harmeyer went to Florida to visit his mother and stepfather, and he says he enjoyed some local cuisine, including alligator tail. And Ugh. a big milestone for uh, J.D. on Twitter, he reached 
a hundred thousand followers. Good for him. Yeah, JD found his mother, huh? She keeps hiding from him, but she but he keeps. She, she was in Florida, and he, right. she made him eat alligator. Right. She said, "JD, <laughs> eat this." <laughs> what, 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 what's this, Miami? It's an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> King Kamehameha just killed this alligator. This for is it. a guy who goes to like <laughs> Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips every day. If he Burger can find King. It. Burger King. And his mom's got him eating alligator. Why not work him up into just some normal food? Alligator. <laughs> Oh, my God, a monkey with alligator, and then we sat in the house for the week. What are we having next, monkey? <laughs> I guess we found his mom in Florida, and they hung mm-hmm. out, and he says it was good. Yeah, he says, though, even though he has so many followers, his life has not changed, but he's still somewhat jealous of Ronnie. Why? Because uh, Ronnie is verified, and he is not. Oh, dear, that still bothers him. Who has more Twitter followers, Ronnie or I JD? believe it's J.D.? Do you think JD is capable of emotion if someone dies? <laughs> no. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, I guess I'm not sure. So is my mother. I don't know. <laughs> but he always goes to visit family. I love his vacations. When I can find them. <laughs> yeah. He visits family because I don't think he has any friends. I guess. I think JD is like friendless. So, like, he goes and visits his family, and then they force him to eat an alligator. (laughs) They just experiment. I don't want to eat a manatee. (laughs) I know. I wonder if the Germans could train J.D. to talk. (laughs) (laughs) And read and write. How'd it go with mom? Uh, Was she very maternal to you, or is it very cold? Like, do you hug each other? No, no. She's... You know what I love? Like, the only evidence that you've been in Florida is your nose is bright red like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. (laughs) Well, this isn't even from Florida. This is from the Mets game the other day. Oh, yeah? You didn't wear a hat? (laughs) No, I was an idiot. I don't need no hat. I I don't take care of myself. What do you mean Beltran's injured? (laughs) <laughs> so you went down to Florida Did you get in a bathing suit Or because you're fat You stayed like, <laughs> No Florida. there was no beach going By anyone What part of Florida Do you, Did uh, your mom like Live in the shitty part of Florida Where like there's no water Yeah like in the interior It's, yeah, like, it's very inside As in the Everglades My, mo- my mommy <laughs> hasn't had water in weeks <laughs> The only water is a swamp <laughs> No, there's some nice lakes around. They got a pool over there, but she got a crocodile for a neighbor. <laughs> no. Dude, so there's no like beach or anything? Uh there's not a beach around there, no. <laughs> Great. You think you know, she married an Hawaiian guy. You think they live near water. Hawaiian Bill. <laughs> I had to say hello to him. And King Tonga. Did you say hi to her husband or you ignore <laughs> Yes. Him? Do you have a hi, do you ask him, like, how he's doing? Do you have conversation with your mom and your stepdad? A little bit. Well. You know. I mean, do you spend time with stepdad too, or is it just you? No, yeah, mom? he's there. He was there. Daddy, let's go bonding. I mean half daddy. What shall I call you? <laughs> Pop. What's, what's your Hawaiian name? <laughs> um Yeah, that's weird. Like you imagine like JD doesn't have many social skills, so he's probably sitting there. I'm imagining his mom doesn't talk much and probably the guy you she married. You think she's like JD? Yeah, like it's a whole just everyone mumbles. All oh that. god! No, no, no. Did my you? my dad mumbles. No. I you know, uh, but no, my mom talks. She does. Her she, her husband's very quiet though. Does your mom ever go, JD? Come on, I'm trying to get something out of you. No, yeah, sometimes definitely on the phone. Uh, on the when we talk on the phone, she's like that. Why do you call people if you're not gonna talk? <laughs> well, th- she wants to talk to me. I'm her son. Wait, God can you damn imagine it! That call. We breathe into the receiver. <laughs> <laughs> Shady, I don't understand. I'm trying to learn about your life. I don't know what the fuck. How are you? Wait, how are you feeling? <laughs> what? <laughs> and, and Shady, you what know, have you been doing? Do you what have you been up to? Do you have any friends? <laughs> what? <laughs> have you got a girlfriend? <laughs> uh, it's too much trouble. Uh, <laughs> Shady, could you answer serious. with more than but one word? You have to give me some sort of feedback here, honey. <laughs> I'm I'm trying, you know, do you want me to send you more alligator cake? By, by the way, I picked out the alligator tail at the restaurant. Alligator tail. Was it really an alligator you ate? Yeah, something. I don't know. It was, on the, it was on the menu. I don't know. I don't know. And like Cro- when you go to crocodile dinner, balls, too. Like when you go to dinner, like, do you, are you just like, there's really nothing to talk about. What you're, kind of restaurant is this? Because you spent the whole day with them, right? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you're probably like, you're all talked out for whatever that I, is. I, we made it work. That's Somehow. why he's eating alligator. Maybe they can talk about that. Uh, this alligator is okay. <laughs> it's not as scaly as I thought. JD talked, everyone. He said the alligator was okay. Yeah, what kind of restaurant serves alligator? I mean, where, where the fuck are you? It's in Florida, you know? It's, where in Florida? I, I don't know what they want you me to You don't even know where you were. No, I know where I was. I don't but know. what's the name of the restaurant? 
Ah, oh, fuck. I forget. Is it uh, called fuck? It's <laughs> no. called Ah, oh, fuck. It's a Chinese place. <laughs> no, I think it might be called Gators or something like that. Gators. Uh, <laughs> RJ Gators or something. Oh, why don't they have strippers here? <laughs> place called Can I Gators. get a lap dance? So what else is on the menu besides alligator? I, you know, fish and stuff. <laughs> Does your mom try to Seafood. badmouth your real dad? or like, no, 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 no. None of that? No. Moved on from that. <laughs> Oh, they used to have those conversations. Well, no. <laughs> no, I'm not even... St- no. <laughs> so you like your stepdad, or are you just Yeah, kinda, he's fine. He's fine. As long Does as, he as, talk? As long as my mom's happy, you know, that's fine. Is he uh, a talkative he, guy? No, he's not. No, he's very good quiet. Good Lord. She's sitting there with these two... Two, two, two b- lumps on a log. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun weekend. Did you tell your mom you have 100,000 Twitter followers? I think I did, yes. But she knows oh, I'm not verified. I have something to say. <laughs> oh, good, honey. It's been over an hour. We haven't heard from you. <laughs> uh, I have 20 Twitter followers. What? I have 100,000 Twitter followers. <laughs> you have 100,000 t- what? Twitter followers. What about friends? Uh, uh two of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as strong in that area. Can you imagine that conversation? Yeah, your poor mother's trying to pull teeth. But you know what? I don't feel bad for her because she walked out on you. She didn't well, walk out on me. Stop you? it. I mean, she tried to talk to him for about 20 years. Do you think it was because he doesn't say anything? She All probably, right. She probably figured she, he was, she wasn't needed. That's it. I got to go. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Ah. <laughs> it's like Frankenstein. Ah. What do you mean, aloha? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Speak English. Then she goes all the way to Hawaii, and that guy doesn't talk either. Well, you were in high school when your mom left you, right? No, I was... Uh, Are you I in was, college? You full sale? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> full sale. <laughs> hey, you got me here, dude. Sure. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> in, in some ways, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, who would have thought of full sale? You'd have 100,000 Twitter followers. Damn right. Right. Oh, so you went down there, what, for the week? When would you get back? Uh, I got back on Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Oh. So it was a long weekend or something? Yeah. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> well, if you're not talking, Howard. So then when you come home, what do you do? You just stay in your apartment? Oh, no, I was here, and yes, I stayed in my apartment. Oh. <laughs> Is that my apartment or here? Yeah. Went to the Mets game the other day. Who'd you go with, Will? Uh, Will, John Hine. Why uh, does Will go to the Mets game? Yeah, he hates what were the they playing? <laughs> Philly? He, uh, he, I don't, he you know, still likes baseball. He wore his Phillies hat. Yeah. He, was yelling, he was yelling at the ball boy the whole time. <laughs> the Good, ball that's boy. Nice. The poor ball boy. The ball boy. <laughs> <laughs> his name was Travis. <laughs> wow. Well, all right, at least you have friends from the show. Yes. People like hanging out with you. Like, Wait a minute. How was Gator? <laughs> it was good. It was it's like, like a very, little strong. A little, little strong? A little, little gamey? <laughs> no, it was fine. It was a little fishy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> all right, all right, thank you. I just can't imagine you being that adventurous and trying gator. Was it fried? He won't try shrimp. Yes. Yeah, that's what it is. It's mm. deep fried. So. Oh, so it couldn't tell it from anything Robin, else. you could take your foot and deep fry it and you'd eat it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the no. deep fry. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you, you know, when they deep fry anything, it tastes good. I ate a deep fried one. I don't know about that. What'd you have? I had a deep fried wallet. <laughs> you ate your wallet? I ate my wallet. <laughs> and I picked my teeth with the credit card. <laughs> All right, JD, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to, what? What is that, JD? Thank you. All right, thank you. That's, that's Hawaiian. <laughs> Forget <laughs> lost. Anything else, Lisa? Yes. Uh, Congressman Anthony Weiner isn't the only one with her Twitter scandal going on. Ronnie, the limo driver, found himself in the middle of a mess when he direct messaged someone on Twitter recently to be a potential hot chick of the week. Yeah, I knew about this. Captain Jenks oh. sent an yeah. email to Gary. Uh huh. Captain Jenks, uh, it, it, Captain Jenks, a brilliant guy, except it's kind of said he puts all of his brilliance into pranks. <laughs> like, no, not a job. Because I said to someone, how did Jenks do this? And they described this elaborate prank that he, uh, I would have no idea how he to do really this. He really works on these things. He, he really, really works hard on these things. What he did, essentially, if I have it right, he contacted Ronnie and sent him a picture of himself as a woman. You know, it was a, a beautiful, he had a picture of a beautiful woman saying, Ronnie, I want to be hot chick of the week. Okay. On Twitter account. All I know is, Dude. long story short, as soon as Ronnie posted the picture for his hot chick of the week, 
the picture turned itself into like a Nicole Bass <laughs> and like looked like a dude. Oh my goodness. Now, how you make a picture change? Yeah, because Ronnie tweeted the picture yeah. he saw. How does Captain Jenks pull that off? I mean, it sounds genius, but you know, it's crazy. What, if he, you what he did was he had a picture. What he, the first picture he sent me was a girl's body, it didn't even show the face. Right. But you so, liked it so much. No, no, no. So I di see, I direct messaged this supposed girl and said, if you want to be hot chick of the week, we have to see what you look like. Uh -huh. We have to see your face. <laughs> there are rules, Robin. Ah. So next thing I know, I get there's a picture up of the chick, supposedly, with a face and the body and everything. It looked yeah. really good. Uh -huh. And didn't you tell me when you screened for hot chick of the week on your Twitter account that you also look for chicks who have very few followers? Right, right. Because you want to find new and up and coming. Right, and they built, actually, like, the, <laughs> the past couple that I've done yes. that were legit, legit. Went from like three, four hundred, five hundred followers to like three, four thousand followers. So you become their mentor in a way. Right. Right. So they owe you. As soon as I posted her Monday, yes, as hot chick of the week, <laughs> I went back to look to see if people were starting to follow her. And as soon as I went back, the picture, her profile picture, you know, a little profile yeah, picture, yeah. changed from the picture that he had sent <laughs> to Nicole Bass in a bikini. <laughs> And then, it, then if you went to the bio spot where it said bio, he goes, I just pranked Ronnie the limo driver to stupid ass and blah, blah, uh. dumb ass and all this baloney crap, you know. Jenks, again, I know you're broke. It seems to me, and I love these pranks, but it seems this is a, very time consuming and a lot to go through. Oh, you know, Howard, I, I actually I, I created a fake Twitter account. And I put chicks, hot chicks that I found on Google in, in the profile pic. See what I mean? He's, I, already that sounds like too much work. Right, yeah. Like, you know, he, he should be looking he has, no, he has no life, so what else has he got to do? No, were you, well, were you why, upset why, by it? You have no life, dude. Would no, you, I was, you know, at first I was pissed off. Right. And then, and then I said, yeah, you know what? Yeah, because he's trying to establish yeah, something Ronnie's here. trying to the establish only thing that really, The only thing that really <laughs> pissed me off, he got on there and he called me a dumbass. Which no, he has no business calling anybody a dumbass when he sits home and this is his whole fucking life. That's what he does. Okay, I mean, I he has no job. He owes people a bunch of money, and I, I don't. I don't know how he could call me a dumbass. I never called you a dumbass. Yeah, you did, dude. It was up on Twitter. It was there. I don't know who. No, I. Well, you claim you didn't put it up. Then when talk to one of your friends, I guess they put it up. Okay. I'm telling you, I never called you a dumbass, Ronnie. All right, well, that's all it was. Well, whatever, I I, whatever, man. <laughs> get go get a life for yourself and get a real job and put this shit to you know to real use that you do. You know, Howard, Ronnie, Ronnie tweeted this morning that he's got a research team working for him now. That's right, I do. I do. Investigate. That's right. <laughs> you think I'm going to fall for he's your not, crap he's again? He's not going to get fooled again. Not Jinx. again. <laughs> see if you can, hey, Jen, see if you can fool his research team. Yeah. Who's your research team, well, Jason? JD. JD is doing it. Yeah. Me and JD. Well, we're, we're, the one who, who alerted him that it was that he's been pranked. Meanwhile, <laughs> well, no, he he said it's a possibility. He didn't say I was pranked. I don't even think James realizes who he's talking to. So I said to Ronnie, "How was your vacation?" He goes, "Uh, well, I had my sitcom meeting, oh. and then I had my meeting with uh, what else? some other show, Fox Fuel Fo TV, F Fox yeah. Fuel yeah. TV. He's taking my, meetings, James, for my talk <laughs> show. And I said, this is unbelievable. I said, so what's going on? He, he's in very heavy talk. Now, does he go out to L.A. for these meetings? No, or is he no. Here? They him. come to you. Yeah, well, like the one the one show is in New York. Uh -huh. It's going to be in New York, okay. the sitcom. And then the talk show is in, they are based in L.A., uh -huh. but... They're moving the whole I've, I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of, like, phone, com you know, me you know oh, meetings with them. conferences on phone? they're going to shoot it here. You know, Look at, he can even change the locale You know what's shows? amazing about Ronnie? Like, even Rosie, when Oprah hired her, she has to go to Chicago to do her show. Right. Because oh, I guess Oprah insists. Oprah wanted to use the studios that she built there. Ronnie's and like, fuck you. Rosie has to do it. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Are you wanted they me. Said, they said they're willing to work, you know, around, your schedule. around me. No. So. So Ronnie. I'm happy. Ronnie's got two TV shows coming out. Wow. Jenks, you should be being nice to Ronnie. Any chance? <laughs> Any chance if Jax is nice to you, you'd give him a job on that TV show? Or maybe I'll have him as a guest, like a guest host or something, <laughs> on the talk hey, show. You know, Howard, 
with, with the fake Twitter account, I was tweeting Ronnie, like, I love my man smells like baby powder, and he was retweeting it and stuff. Yeah, and then, and then, you, put up, and then you put up this thing. You know, he tried, he tried to make it like I put up a pr inappropriate things to this girl. Yeah. Where I was just asking her questions like, you know, do you really want to do this? Or, you know, are you sure you want to put up p hot pictures? You know, are you into this? It wasn't nothing appropriate, inappropriate, Shanks, did dude. Did you try to pick up Ronnie at all? Did you come on to him to get the hot chick of the week? Oh, uh, yeah, Howard, I, he, he, he was like, he, he was like, yes. He was like, he's like tweeting me, well, listen, you got to make everyone proud next yeah, week. Yeah, right, exactly. Hot chick of the week. Nothing inappropriate, dude. He nothing. told you, he dude, told you that you yeah, have put to. Yeah, put him up. Tell him, tell him, you know, Shanks, show him what you did. He told you that he, you, you had to make Stupid everyone ass. proud? Who is this <laughs> everyone? Yeah, like, and, and you know, My 99,000 followers, okay? <laughs> Wait, let me hear what Jenks is saying. What? To his, to his credit, he didn't he didn't tweet me anything that was inappropriate. He just like, came off like Hugh Hefner to me. No, right? I came oh, off like, as finding out if the girl really wanted to do it. That's right, how I right. that's how I came off. Well, okay. how do you make you proud? Yeah, Ron, like what is it that you expect the girls when you choose them for hot chick of the week to really to get out the word and tell their friends and uh, really go out and promote the fact that they're hot chick of well, the week? Well, a lot of them want they they're trying to build like a modeling <laughs> career kind of. I see. Right. You know, like this is right. the girl who's up now, this girl Christy Day. Yeah. Um, Howard did not for nothing, but he's got a lot of followers. And when I was tweeting and he was retweeting what I was saying, he got, uh, I got a lot of followers as a result of him. So upwards of so two or three hundred. You, in other words, the girls should be proud of this title, Hot Chick of the Week, and right. really go out there and Cause work it. Because they get followers. Right. But and what they do make, they, they do? Make, what do they have to do to be make you proud? Well, they have to put it. Because the the the, the, the followers want to see hot pictures, right? Because if I right. they don't see hot pictures, they stop bitching at me. Ah, like, oh, she's boring because she didn't show her boobs, you Why know, and stuff like that. Why don't you get the pictures before they get to be hot chick of the week? Because I don't want to. I want to be surprised at what they put up. I see. I don't want to see. Oh. That. He takes a chance too. Yeah, exactly. I so see. you vet these girls, but only so much. I mean, at some point, you got to just release it, make them hot chick of the week, and hope they come through. Right. Like my right. first right. one. My first vixen. Right. She was like, she was a hit. She exploded. She went from like 400 followers to 10,000. Right. You know? Right. So. So that's the kind of explosion that can happen <laughs> for these girls. But she put up <laughs> shit like, yeah, but it, it actually it promotes their websites. It promotes their websites and all this kind of nonsense. So they get shit out of it. Have you had any girls approach you and say they'd give you sexual favors? If no, you make absolutely not. Why no, no. would you bother? No. He's not even looking at your pictures. No. Right. <laughs> no, I look at them when they come up. I look at them. How you many know? girls do you reject? Would you say? I haven't rejected you? anybody. I kind of try and pick, you know, <laughs> other than Captain how, Jenks. How big a know? pool is there of hot chicken? What did Jenks do to get right through? Yeah, he must have really turned oh, you on. Because he, I don't. I first of all, I don't really know. Hot pictures. First of all, I don't know how he did it because <laughs> he he put this he put this girl up and right away she had like two hundred and six followers. Yeah. And then. Yeah, I found. I just random on Google. I don't, it, 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 just a brunette. In fact, they used three or four pictures and they weren't even the same girl. Right. Yeah, it but didn't matter. <laughs> you sent them three or four different <laughs> pictures. Of the yeah, but you really couldn't tell because they were all brunettes. Well, there's real quality control. You know, it was hard to way. tell because they were distant pictures, you know. Right. But they were showing, you know, it was, they were cool How pictures. How did he get right to the top of the list? Because yeah. there's got to be a ton of women who want to be Ronnie's hot chick of the Because week. she only had 206 followers. That's what I look oh, for. Oh, you look for that. You look yeah. for the unknown. Yeah. Like I got, it's the, girl, the girl I got for next week mm -hmm. has got no followers. She's got like seven, eight followers now. Is she now. Jenks? No, no. She's the real deal. I know this girl. Yeah, I don't so. want to be looking at some dude. <laughs> no, no, no. This one's going to be I, good. I'm not going to trust you to find hot chick of the week and then I'm going to see the cold bass in a bikini. Because that sounds <laughs> again like Jenks just started another Twitter site. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's other ones. There's a lot. Of, <laughs> see, now, see, now here's the thing. Jenks, I don't mean to rewrite your bit, but wouldn't it have been funnier if it was just a picture of your cock? Like, <laughs> now, <laughs> now, the, thing, the thing is now, like everybody is sending me like recommendations. Right. Like from girls that are on Twitter, supposedly. Yeah. So I don't believe anybody now. So what are you going to do? Is that the end of Hot Chick no, of the Week? No, no, no. It's I'm, like this girl, Christy, that's up there now. She was up last week because I had to replace. She was supposed to be this week. Why do you make these So girls, you replace Jenks with I replaced Jenks with Christy, and now Christy's 
this was supposed to be her week, so she lucked out. She got two weeks out of it. Oh. Why don't you? Why don't you have a, some sort of meeting with these chicks or some? I don't want to do that because that could cause problems. But you got to see that they're legitimate. People are trusting. I'll them. find. I'll make sure they're I mean, legitimate. Jenks pulls this off again. I got a feeling I'll be looking at some mm. dick. No, no. <laughs> Oops. I'm Benji. <laughs> yeah, I'll see. Ben I have a crack. I have a crack research team now. <laughs> Well, what, what good is JD going to do? He doesn't know if somebody. No, nah, he knows a, a lot of crap, man. He knows a lot of girls on there, believe me. Jenks, are you going to try and get uh, other pictures on there? Of course he is. No, nah, Ronnie, I won't do it to you again. No, you'll have just. Come on, Jenks, you'll, you you'll, uh, you'll have Stern fan JS do it, or Matt, Matt, what's, what's that guy? Matt the what? Matt the sack? All your buddies. <laughs> the other guy, unfollow Ronnie. There's a, there was a campaign for that. All right. I mean, forget you, about you it. Got, Ronnie, you, you got a team of uh, research people now. There's no way I That's can right. Do oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I know you're going to try some. People love busting Ronnie. The I balls, love man. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's this so was, funny. This was going on all vacation. I'm getting updates in my email from, <laughs> oh, from oh, Jenny. No, broken up. Jenks called everybody he could possibly think of after he did this. I got in The on news it department, Gary's office, Will, Jay. Jason, the whole world knew about it. That's a funny idea. What are you talking to... about? I told Gary. You called everybody. It. The news department called me. Imme- Shuli called me immediately for a news story. Hot chick of the week I pranked. Know, I, I That's not what Shuli told, told me. All I know is I went on hot chick of the week and I saw some um, like a manish looking girl on there. No, that, go on there now. Yeah. Check out at Christy Day. They fixed it. You, you know what? You I become actually, like a Twitter I, maniac. You were a guy who didn't care about Facebook or Twitter, and all of a sudden you've exploded with this Twitter. You love it. He's hey, on there all the listen, time. Listen, I got I got the sitcom thing through Twitter. The guy contacted right. me through Twitter, wow. so I can't knock it at all. No, no. I got to tell you something, Ronnie. The sitcom thing, it's me. <laughs> yeah, no. I I met with them for four hours Thursday night. No, it's not you. <laughs> That's Captain Jenks' brother. <laughs> that sitcom guy, Maury Schwartz. Hey, no, uh, no, absolutely not. Well, Jenks, uh, there you go. How many hours did you put in on this prank? Uh, a week. A week. A week? A week, and at least, ten, <laughs> a week and at least five to ten, you know, different messages. Well, long. there's a week's salary down the drain. Did that, uh, did that stop you from exploring real business opportunities <laughs> and perhaps a new career? Yeah, you weren't taking any meetings. <laughs> did you have a meeting? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, all right, Captain, thank you. Hey, you can follow me on Twitter at King Cranks. King Cranks. King uh, Cranks, right. King right, Cranks. Right. At King Cranks. And I won't prank you again, Ronnie. I yeah, I, yeah, you promise. Yeah, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I really believe your promises. You also promised to show up at a club meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Let down your guard, Ronnie. Yeah, no, yeah I doubt that. <laughs> Captain, uh, good one. Thanks. All right, Captain Jenks, everybody. Yes, Jeff the Drunk. Yeah, so just want to point out what an asshole Ronnie is. Yes, so. Ronnie yeah. is an asshole. Boy, not, I, not Jeff, though. Never. <laughs> what, what, what's Ronnie done to you? By the way, it's good Ronnie's tweeting because my I have barely tweeted. I've, I tweeted, I didn't tweet at all during yeah, the break. I've yeah. been bad at it. I I guess I get kind of discouraged because whenever I tweet anything, there's a certain group of people who get on there and just tell me I'm an idiot. <laughs> you got to ignore that. They do it to me all the time. Yeah, but I don't like it. You ignore have ignore it. I just I just ignore it. Like after this happened with 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 Jenks. You had to see the tweets I got, man. Forget it. No. <laughs> from this, I like it a whole bunch of them were from this idiot on the phone right now. Yeah, from Jeff? Oh, he loves it. You know, he loves ripping my ass all open. Why, Why? is Ronnie an ass? Ronnie, I don't fucking rip you You're so this. full of shit, dude. Come on. Who are you Come kidding? On, I don't. I swear to you. What? You don't, don't swear to God to me because I know who you are on Twitter. I'm Jeff the Drunk. Yeah, I know Drunk. you are. And Jeff I saw, I saw the crap that you put up. What did he say about you? The same thing he says now. Ronnie's an asshole. Ronnie's an old bag. Ronnie's fucking his 28-year-old whore. But she left him. That's not me, dickface. That's you, (laughs) dickface. It's you. I know who you are. Ronnie, I'm Uh, just the drunk one, bitch. Yeah, I know. I know all about it. The drunk one. One. Drunk one, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) You mean there's another drunk one? I know exactly who he is. Yeah, there's like 10,000... Fakes with everything, man. But I know it's Jeff the Drunk One who he, he, what's the shit he puts up. Believe Ronnie, me. I don't. I oh, he's such a he's such a he, don't don't believe him. God is going to kill you for this, pal. Wow. Swear to God. You're a douchebag. Yeah, that he put that up too. <laughs> <laughs> but he swears to God he doesn't. Yeah, Joe. Hey, Ronnie, it's Stern Fan JS, buddy. Yeah, it's my pal. There he is. You got had. Yeah, I got had, all right. Yeah, definitely. Creepy DM 
messages. They, they weren't creepy, asshole. Oh, they weren't Captain creepy. Yes, they, they were weren't creepy, creepy at mean, all. Captain Jenks posted all your private messages to this girl? Yes. Yeah. No. yeah. But they weren't <laughs> creepy. Yeah. I, they, I told you what they said. I was just asking yeah. questions. That's all. Oh, well, Ron, you got had. I said I got had. Good for him. Big time. Yeah, big, big time. time. Big time. You know why? Because you're a douchebag. Yeah, okay, Joe. See you in Pennsylvania. I guarantee you'll be the first one at the show. <laughs> what is this, a new show? Yeah, I got, we're doing a, a Ronnie Block party again. Wonderful. Oh, you got yeah. another one? Is Scott going? Well, that was a whole little controversy, but I told Shuley if Scott doesn't go, I'm, you know, it's not a good idea not to do it without him. Now you're tied mm -hmm. in with him? Well, what happened was they booked us for this thing in Chambersburg, someplace in Chambers. You know, in Pennsylvania yeah. for this gig. And it was me. It was supposed to be me, Shuley, uh, Yucko, and uh, this, guy, this guy, John Tall, Tool, whatever his name is, right. Tall. Um, and then Scott wasn't involved. They said they couldn't afford to pay Scott. Right. So I was thinking Aww. about it. And then, so we booked it and everything. And then I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. And then Shuley called me the other day to talk to me about, you know, what, about going there and all this nonsense. Yeah. And I said, well, what happened with Scott? Because I really felt bad. Yeah. The whole thing was his idea, kind of. Was it? Yeah, because he was the one who wanted to go on the road. Oh. You know, he wanted to make money. Okay. So he talked to Shuley about it. And then we came up with this whole thing that I'll host it and, you know, that whatever. And he'll DJ whatever he's going to do. Yeah. This is typical of Scott. So they didn't, they didn't book him. After, I guess, after all that went down here that when yeah. we came back, <laughs> I guess they didn't book him. All right. So I said, I said to Shuley, I said, listen, dude, it's not right. I said, you got to work something out. I said, even if we got to take a pay cut, you know. And, you got to get Scott in there. And get Scott in there. To, you know, like we'll give him like 100 each of our money or whatever. Right. You know, to get him in. And then supposedly he straightened it out. So Scott, Scott's in. Scott's in. Yeah, Wouldn't it be just like Scott to create something that he gets thrown out? Yeah, well, it's like we, we started a band called The Losers because Scott's a loser. And then, right. we, and then we threw him out of the band because <laughs> he was a bit shitty drummer. It's amazing how he does that. Yeah, yeah. He gets thrown out of everything <laughs> that he starts. <laughs> it's like, it's sad. No, I felt bad, though, you know. You know not good for you feeling bad. That's yeah. human. Yeah. <laughs> so few guys are capable of that. All right, Ronnie, uh, good luck. Uh, that sounds uh, At great. At Christy Day, Hot Chick of the Week. All right, there's Ronnie telling you to follow him on Twitter with his Hot Chick I'm of the Week. I'm sorry there's no new Chick of the Week this week. Yeah, Dude. I have to take Christy from last week. Topless. Meanwhile, I, <laughs> yeah. tweeted, I tweeted a Dude. sexy picture of Beth. Uh-huh. Like, um... A bell, her belly button? Her belly button. I saw it. Yeah. yeah Just it was not, the it was, belly button? It was a cool picture. Thanks. And uh, I thought it was a cool picture. I said, you know, I haven't tweeted all what week. What do you mean? It was just her belly button? You couldn't see her? Uh, yeah, like her belly button. Then I tweeted the whole picture of uh -huh. her in the sexy dress. Uh-huh. And, you know, 99% of the people are like, wow, that's really hot. And then, like, like, then you start getting these really weird tweets. See, I get bothered by it. I, I just can't see it. You got to ignore it. I can't. You have guy, to. Guy what are they tweeting? Don't you think it's really sick of you to be posting those pictures of your wife? <laughs> that I went, what the fuck? I get all these requests. Give us pictures of Beth. Give us pictures of Beth. And I, well, I, not from that guy, apparently. And, and Beth was wearing this sexy outfit. I said, hey, honey, can I take a picture of you and tweet it? She goes, yeah, sure, go ahead. It's not like, you know. You're not stealing the pictures or no. taking them against her will. No, and she thought it was a, an attractive picture, and she was going out anyway to a publicity thing, like a like a like an event. Uh huh. She said they're going to take pictures of me there, too. So I, I did it thinking this would be a nice thing to do. Well, I get fucking <laughs> slammed. I'm disgusting. And then they start writing. Um, but, but it's a very few people who write negative stuff. Right. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole handful. But, that, but, that, but it turns me off. Then I go to write something, and I go, well, if I write something, I'm just going to be it criticized. It eggs them on. So then I said, well, I'll answer some of the questions that people write me on Twitter. And then I start to do that, and people go, well, all you do is answer questions. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't know. I don't know what you want from me on this thing. I mean, that's what it's for, isn't it? I, I mean, get I get just the opposite. I, if I don't answer their questions, they start yelling. Well, that's true, too. Everything yeah. you do is wrong to somebody. Yeah. Yes, Bobo. Definitely. Hey, how you doing there, Howard? Listen, don't listen to all these assholes that are on Twitter, man. I love when you uh, tweet uh, shots of Beth, especially that belly button shot. 
Yeah, that's right. I figure guys want pictures. I had, by the way, Bobo, I had some unbelievable pictures I was going to tweet, and then I said, fuck this. When <laughs> I, I start getting so aggravated. I know. I, I started getting like a lot of like, hey, man, isn't that perverted? You're using your wife for purposes. And I was like, well, may, I mean, why do I need this grief? I really don't care if I tweet pictures. Well, you pictures. should have tweeted, I was going to send some more pictures, but hey, you convinced me well, I was wrong to do that. I yeah, started, well, then they'll cur- definitely curse them out then. I started doing doing that. Like what I did was I'd answer the people and go, okay, you're right. No more pictures. And then those people get yelled at for it. I mean, it's... Yeah, they're telling you, get back to work. You should be working more. Yeah, that was another one. I, I tweeted the picture about they go, oh, great, man. Why don't you go work on your show instead of uh, tweeting pictures? Like, I, I'm like, well... Okay, so I won't tweet anymore. Then I stop. I shut down. You know what? Every oh. once in a while, I would tweet something that I saw that was newsworthy or something while I was off. Not this time, but times mm. before. And people go, either they're like, stop doing the news for us or get back on the air. Yeah, and then I, I saw, Gary had booked a guest, so I said, oh, guess who's coming in in a week? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I got. I figured that was the most non Oh, what's the matter, Howard? You got to use Twitter for a commercial. Uh, <laughs> you, what do you have to promote your show? See, like, we're already listening, you fucking asshole. That, I, mean, I got yelled wow. at all over the place by the fans. <laughs> I said, okay, so I won't tell people when Gary books a guest. I don't know. It it makes it. You see, I get very affected by it. Jack. Well, I do, too. Yesterday, I was watching tennis, and once I got on and I tweeted the whole time I was watching tennis, yeah. and this time I didn't do it because the last time people were like, who cares? Or, yeah. you know, everybody <laughs> hates tennis. Go fuck yourself. Right. <laughs> I like, See, I, I do that with the show. I do that for you on, you know, in the morning sometimes for the show. Like, if I know somebody really cool is coming in, yeah. but I won't say who it is. Yes. I'll go like... Uh, you should really listen. This is going to be a great interview. Yeah, but if I do that, then people think I'm using it as a commercial right. device. Now yeah, but you don't, put who, I, you don't put who it is. Yeah. You know. I don't know. And Howard, you should get, a, you should get uh, about to put a belly button ring in there. Oh, no. You know what, Bobo? You're so, you know no? what? That's the same reason. You, oh, there's the picture. Yeah, that's Robin. the picture. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's beautiful. That Very arty picture. Yeah. I, you know what? And, I, and, I, and I, I tell you what, Bobo, that's the same reason you think your toupee is good. <laughs> belly, button, <laughs> belly button rings are, like, not hot. They're not. They're just they're not. over. It's it never was happening, but when it was, it was gross. Yeah, they're out now. A woman's belly button is so beautiful. Why would you fucking stick a thing in it? It's Why do you just... call attention to it? <laughs> yeah, yeah right. There. Yeah, like I mean, what are you doing? Like you've run out of things to draw attention to. We don't like need you to look any more attractive. You're attractive enough. I hey, can't Alan, stop I thinking like about you. you. I like to follow up picture after the belly button. You sent one more. Yeah, well, yeah, well, that you can expect that all to stop. In fact, I took uh, some great pictures of Beth in bikinis, and I said, you know, I'm going to send this out on Twitter. And I just said, you know what? Maybe they're right. No, they're not right. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. All right. Why am I doing that? And then they make you think too much, and then you fucking <laughs> say, forget it. Fuck them guys. How would this do it? Bobo, it's over. Uh, Until the I next time it. I do it. <laughs> See, look at that beautiful picture, Robin. It's gorgeous. Yeah. You took that picture? I certainly did. Wow. I'm good. Let me do your publicity photos. Of course, they'll be nude. <laughs> hey, Howard. <laughs> yeah. Love what that happened to the, dress. What happened That's to the some dress, huh? Yeah. Party? What was that? What happened to the four-year-old kid's birthday party? Did oh, you did yet? you have that? I didn't do that yet. I oh. mean, I'm, I'm booked for it. You know, it's people, coming up. People book me way in advance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, a four-year-old's birthday party takes a lot of planning, I guess. Yeah. I'm doing this uh, four-year-old. It's actually two four-year-olds who are sharing their birthday, and so it's going to be a pig fuck of a lot of kids. A certain person on Twitter said they wanted to book you for a wedding, remember? I saw that, but it, it, uh, I was booked that weekend. <laughs> I think I'm doing a bar mitzvah. I'm doing the Shiftman bar mitzvah. Wow. Hey, Howard, how do I book you for my four-year-old? I mean, my, uh, he's going to be five. He's going to be I graduated. just want to do one four-year-old birthday party and see what Bobo, it's like. Well, don't be redundant. He's already, you know, done that. I just did pre-prom, and... My daughter claims I'm the best photographer in the world, so there you go. There you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Later. Uh, Howard. Yeah. Yeah, one thing. What ha- whatever happened to um, uh, Mike Walker? Mike's around. You know what? We stopped doing the Mike Walker thing, you know, but 
You know, that's another thing, because we used to get a lot of letters, hey, with the Mike Walker thing, get to rob him with the news and that and the other thing. And then we, when we go to the reduced schedule, we were like, oh, my God, this and that. But I love Mike. And the way, the way we saw using Mike is that when there's a cool story happening, Enquirer-style story, we'll just call Mike and get him to right. talk about it, as, as opposed to playing a game. I mean, what are we, four years old? We, but although I haven't been calling Mike, and I want to. I know. We didn't. I, we should have talked to him during the whole Arnold thing. Yeah, I know. We, you know what? It's just been, the show's so, been so jam-packed. I haven't done that, but I will have Mike back on, for sure. Great, great. All right. But and I want to thank Wayne Siegel from Legend Nissan. He hooked me up. Thank you, Wayne. I thought that we had played enough game. Mm-hmm. We had done that for so many years that maybe it would just be cooler to have talked to Mike about some of these stories. And But I haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. But we'll have Mike Walker on again. Yeah, I would love to have Mike on. Mike's we love always Mike. got some good inside <clears throat> information on... The truth great is, stories. Mike Walker stopped farting and we lost interest. Well, he's, you know, it was great when we had him on that line and you'd hear him clearing his throat or yeah. doing belching or whatever else he used to do while waiting for us. We can bring back the Mike Walker game, though. There's no problem there. But I just thought, why do we have to play a game after all these years? So if there's something good going on, let's talk to Mike about it and cut the nonsense. Well, with a reduced schedule, will, the, will he actually know what's in the magazine? <laughs> right. All right, there's Lisa. JD. Yes. Welcome back, sir. <laughs> Thank you. What a, what a warm and inviting welcome for you. I guess. Full fledged analysis of your family and their activities. Yes. Is that, at, at this point, are you over it or is it still like a sore subject to talk no, about? It's, 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 it's easier to deal with now, I think, a little bit. You know, I don't know. Had this happened or occurred like you know everything with your mom while you're already working on the show would have been you know a much more open wound would you be as willing to talk about everything or you you sort of shut down i don't know (laughs) when do i ever talk about anything do you enjoy these breaks from the show even though that you know it's a uh in the sense that i don't have to get up at three in the morning but is howard right are these boring are these are these uh no, pl- plenty is, plenty is fun around here. So, whatever that means, I don't know. It's fun is a plenty. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Ron. Yeah, I feel like you're really discovering a whole new world out there right now. What do you mean? No, with this internet, this internet fate, this this big fad right now. Yeah. This phase of your life. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, is it worth it though? I mean, you got pranked by Janks this time. It doesn't bother me, dude. Yeah, it's definitely if it's definitely worth it because the people who uh, are looking to hire me for the sitcom thing contacted me through Twitter. So that alone would make it worth it. So I mean, but this time it's Jenks. Next time it could be identity fraud, identity theft. What are you talking about? You're opening yourself up to a lot of uh, you know the unknown. The world of the internet is it's vast and it's hard to predict. Yeah. So. You know, just I'm just saying, have your guard up a little bit, man. You don't know a lot about it. You're still discovering a lot of it. You're still what are you talking you're about? You're still navigating around the what information is wrong with superhighway. You? Who are you? What are you a supervisor now? I'm just internet? saying, watch yourself because he's a supervisor of the internet. What the fuck, man? The information superhighway is it's unending. Okay, all so right. You never know who's out there. I never know who's out there. Like you, you you're dangerous. Well, this time it's Jenks. Next time it could be worse. Well, whatever. You know. All right. Can I say? Just tread lightly. I know you're. I yeah. know you're very popular, but tread lightly. Yes, yes. My I advice will. To you. I'll tread lightly. All right. All right. All right, sir. Are we all right now? Are we yeah, done. We're, we're good. That light's getting bright every day, man. What's up with that? You put new bulbs in there or something? It's your glaucoma. Yeah. Thank you. Who asked for your fucking comment? Sorry. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares where you hey, we'll are? Get you those, Nobody those, cares where you are. Don't we'll get put up terminated terminated where you are. We'll get you those we don't care. Glasses. We don't care where you are. 